Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And today I want to actually review this dash camera actually. So uh, in today's world, it's actually important to have a, a dash camera in your car. And uh, so you guys are you guys are probably like familiar with the dash cameras because uh, there's a lot of dash cameras uh, that people use, for example, like in Russia and a bunch of other like European countries because that's actually important. And you've probably seen a lot of uh, compilations on YouTube as far as uh, the you know dash cam videos, especially uh, in Russia. So that's really cool. It's really actually really really smart idea to have one of these. Uh, and yeah, today I'm actually gonna be um, testing this one out and seeing how it is. And for those of you wondering um, about this car, this is not my car, right? We're just gonna do this test on this specific car, but <laughs> I'm not into Nissans whatsoever, so don't even worry about that. Yeah, and anyways, let's go ahead uh, and you know test this guy out. Anyways, guys, so here's the product. As you can see, this is a really nice, beautiful box, and um, yeah, it literally like tells you 4K and uh, 1080 um p resolution so it's actually should be a really nice good quality and everything yeah and um we're gonna go ahead start unpacking this and seeing how what's inside so this is really really cool guys all right so this is not just a camera it's actually a mirror camera uh a mirror assembly with a camera so it comes with a mirror itself looks like this it's really cool we're about, we're about to in, unpack it and then there's a bunch of you know there's a charging cord there's um you know uh, some other cables and attachments for the mirror itself onto the windshield so what's gonna happen is i'm not gonna actually take off this factory mirror i'm just gonna install this other mirror right over here over that and we're just gonna see how it is and everything so that's really really cool um and it also came with like some cleaning tissues and whatnot it's it's actually really really nice um yeah so let's go ahead and install this guy one thing I didn't mention is that it actually comes with a rear view mirror, um, uh, rear view camera as well. So as you can see, this cable is pretty, pretty long. So you can literally run it all the way from the front to the back of the car and install this onto the back. So this is going to be actually like filming the front view and the rear view. All right. This one, we're not going to install it right now. We're just going to, I just wanted to install the forward, uh, the mirror assembly and seeing how she is. But this is really, really amazing. This is some cool stuff. Obviously, if you're not sure how to use anything, it also comes with a really nice manual. So it has everything in it and all the nice pictures and all whatnot. So that's really, really nice. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and review that because there's a bunch of stuff right here. And it, actually, it shows you like where to, how to mount a camera and all that. So as you can see, it shows you how to mount the rear camera. Yeah, it's it's actually really, really cool stuff. So this is the main part. This is the big, big part right here of this box. So that's your mirror assembly. And it's not just a mirror itself. It's got a camera right here. It's got a bunch of uh, buttons and also attachments right here for the video recording and whatnot. And um, it's really nice how, you know, they take care of it and they just, you know, you know, they have those protective covers. And yeah, it also comes with a memory card. 32 gigabytes that's really nice and then you're going to install that into the uh, camera itself into the mirror assembly guys so i was actually wrong this mirror goes onto your original uh mirror so you don't have to delete your original mirror or anything which is really cool because it comes with these uh straps the rubber straps that go right here and then long story short this camera this mirror assembly will just slide onto this uh original mirror which is really amazing so that's what i'm about to do i'm just reading some instructions it's really easy right there everything is explained nicely so to install this rubber the easiest thing is that just to pop this out it just slides out and then you install the rubber on it the rubber strap like that on both sides and then you slide it back on so the rubber strap is installed you position that and push it till it clicks like that now you have those two straps and now you can reattach this onto your original stuff all right so i was able to install this camera or the dash mirror itself onto the original one just by using those rubber straps you can also like adjust it like this way and the other way a little bit this is actually a really smart, um, you know, dash mirror um, camera system. It's actually really, really cool. And then you can adjust it and we're going to peel this off. Just like so. Peels off. And this also has a GPS that you can connect to, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to connect the charging port and we're going to turn this thing on. 
So the charging port connects right there, like that, and you can tuck it away. You can always make it nicer, you know, you can uh, run it on the top of the uh, headliner and everything if you wanted to. And we're gonna connect it right here. This also has the USB port right there, which is nice. And we're gonna, the last thing we're gonna do is just connect the uh, SIM card, the memory card. I'm gonna grab this and connect it. See which way it is. Like so. All right, now we're gonna start the car and this should actually turn on. There it is. Turned on, and this is actually a touchscreen. It's one of the things I forgot to tell you guys. This is a touchscreen. This is really cool. Um, SD card that it can be recorded. Uh, okay, so it's doing its own thing, I guess, or whatever. So we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna adjust this. So this has to be adjusted a little bit. And uh, you know, there's gonna be ways you can, there's a lot of settings here that you can set up like the way you like it. So this is literally my first time checking this, but this is really something cool that, you know, okay, format succeed. Okay, and now as you can see, it started recording like right away, okay. And then this is the touchscreen. You can go home right here, quit the current video. Yes, uh, dash can you, this is file explorer. So you can explore files and everything right there. Uh, you, you can you can do a bunch of cool stuff here. This is literally like super convenient. And then you switch it to back to the dash cam. As soon as you switch to the dash cam, it starts recording. Obviously, as you can see, just by doing the adjustment and everything, it's gonna it's gonna adjust how you know it's filming everything and all that. This can this just the the factory mirror on this car is just really like high, so you'd have to do some adjustments. But you know, other than that, it's it's something really really cool. All right, now it's been filming for quite a while. I'm gonna shut off the car, this shuts off, but then we're gonna see, uh, it should have saved the camera, the actual, uh, you know, uh, file. So we're gonna check in a second. We're gonna go home right here. Okay, quit video, file explorer, and look at that. It, it has... Oh, that's funny, it even recorded my own voice. That is cool, that is something really awesome. Wow. And now you can also like go to like camera settings, uh, excuse the glare, you can, uh, you know, change the resolution and everything, light, source, frequency, parking mode. It, it's a lot of cool stuff, guys. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm super happy with this uh, camera, you know, and, you know, I'm probably going to, you know, install the rear camera as well, you know, but not in this video, but literally it just comes right here. It's, it's pretty simple, you know, just... Uh, uh some wires that you have to run but like as you guys know if i do something like this it has to be really nice and you know i don't want just like you know the wires just be sticking out like this and all that so i, ha I have to make it really nice all right so as you can see that's the camera right here and this is the resolution it's actually really really awesome i mean i can't and it's it's recording right there all right so it's really amazing. And I'm gonna show you some, uh, you know, footage from when I actually transferred it to the computer. So you guys can kind of experience that because all the files are gonna be saved. Obviously, as you can see, just by doing the adjustment and everything, it's gonna it's gonna adjust how you know it's filming everything and all that. This can this just the, the factor here on this car is just really like high, so you have to do some adjustments. But you know, other than that, it's it's something really really cool.
all right guys so thank you so much for watching and tuning in you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh review on this amazing amira dash camera uh, i'm really super happy to have one of these you know i'm probably gonna buy some more as well so um, stay tuned and uh if you guys are interested the links are gonna be down below make sure to check it out and see you in the next video